Hello, we are here with Virgil. My name is Gabby behind the camera. We have Victoria working with him today. This is his first week with us here at our board and train program at Best Paw Forward. <clears throat> and what we are working on with him today is a little bit of place. So, place can be something like this. Um, it can be a dog bed, it could be a spot on the carpet. Um, we use place for many different reasons. It's a great place to for your dog to kind of settle down, relax, hang out a little bit. It can be used when you have um, somebody at the door if you want to send your dog there so that they stay safe while you open and close that door. It can also be used if you're cooking in the kitchen and you just don't want your dog under your feet or if you're eating dinner and you don't want your dog begging and bothering you, something like that, okay? So it can be used for many, many different things. Again, it can also be a place for your dog to just kind of settle down, relax, and hang out, okay? So we can use something like this. Again, we can use a dog bed, we can use a spot on the carpet, we can use a towel, you can use pretty much anything. The only thing we differentiate from place specifically is crate, so that's a little bit different. Very nice. So, what we're gonna do to start this out is just get our dog used to going on place. So, we are having him go onto that place. We have that leash on if we do need to put a little bit of pressure on that leash to get him on there. We can use a food lure to get him on there. Right now, he's not taking food, um, but he is going on to that place and we are able to give him that reinforcement of giving him pets. Okay, very nice, good boy. So in the beginning, that's all we're looking for is him to go on to that place. You can work with your dog at home on multiple different places, but you wanna make sure that you're practicing on all of the different places that you have throughout the house, okay? So very nice, going on to that place. There he stopped, good. Put a little bit of pressure on that leash, he went right on. That time, Victoria was able to get him into that sit. So that's excellent. In the beginning, you might not be able to do that. You might have to just work on getting him on and off of place, and then as he gets more comfortable with it, then you can start asking for those different behaviors on sit, or on place, excuse me. Good boy, sit. So sometimes dogs actually do better with their basics on place as opposed to off. He is one of those dogs. He actually does a little bit better with his sits and his downs while he is on place. Let's go. Good boy. Please. Please. So there we got a little bit distracted. We do have someone mowing outside. We do have another dog here in the back. So there is a little bit of distraction, but when you start this out, you wanna make sure you're working in as low as distra low distraction as possible. Okay. Very nice. As he starts to get better with this, what we can do is we can have him stay in that sit or that down for a little bit longer before we're freeing him. Very nice. So we're having him stay there. Free. And then we'll free him after a couple of seconds. Very nice. Good. So we start to build a little bit of duration. Once he's doing really well with that, then you can start adding in a little bit of distance. So having him sit or go into a down, and having him stay on that place while you take a few steps back, a few steps to the side. Very nice, good. So we started out with that, you can start out with that lure, luring him onto that place. Next step, what you wanna do is you wanna take that food out of your hand. You, you wanna just have pinched fingers, okay? Nothing in your hand. And you wanna lure him onto that place. And then that final step is using a verbal and a hand signal. Now our hand signal is a flat hand and a sweeping motion towards that place. But he's doing a great job. You guys have any questions on this? Let us know. We will see you on his next video tomorrow.